Gotta admit, I've never really been an Aldi shopper, but I've never really shopped in here. So we're gonna check it out. I did bring my quarter today. I guess I just put it in like that, right? Oh, okay. That comes out. I get my curtain. Good morning. Today we're back at Aldi. I'm gonna try some of their products, some of their name brand products. I know a lot of you guys were wanting me to do that. Uh, I figured it's a good time to do it. See what they have in there. Maybe some holiday items. Check out some of their prices. Let's get to it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. <laughs> I'm not sure what their products are and what's not. I'm just going to kind of go uh, with different name. Savorites. Is that Aldi brand? I want to get a bunch of things that are too expensive, but I do love peanut butter toast crackers. 79 cents. Aldi Savers. This is a Savorites brand. So we're going to find out if that's one of their brands or not. Got these Savorites. Cheese. Dip and cracker sticks, nice little snack, dollar nine. Keto crackers, uh, I don't know, four ninety nine a bag. I'm, it's kind of a small bag. I'm good on that. Not gonna buy up everything here, but I may get these at some point. Eat a crackers. Those look pretty good. Get some cheese. Put them on there. I do love these things. Uh, I do like to put like whipped cream on these and make like ice cream sandwiches. I think I'm going to pass on those today. I'm trying to look for some stuff I've never had before. I know you guys were saying that I should try some of the chocolate. Dark hazelnut crisp. That sounds pretty good. Raisin and hazelnut. These are $2.49 a piece. 11 individually wrapped bars. That doesn't sound like a bad deal. I love hazelnut. Let's give that a try. Being a big German company... Doesn't surprise me that they sell Weathers, because that is a German candy. What about m and though? Okay, so we got uh, the Millville brand that you guys were talking about. Um, I like the S'mores granola. I don't know if they have the single box, so we're just gonna get the uh, variety pack here. I know Jess likes the chocolate chip. $1.15, I mean, that's a great deal. So all this cereal here is Millville brand. Uh, the guy who I just talked to said that it's really good, really good stuff, that they carry a lot of different brands here. And he also said that this chocolate, Chocare, this is a Aldi brand, and the Savorites is an Aldi brand. And he said if you look for the cheaper prices, those are the ones that the brands that Aldi owns. That's good to know. Good to know. Learn something new every day. Not gonna try any of the bagels, but I wanted to show you guys some of the prices. A dollar forty-nine for these blueberry bagels seems like a great deal. Uh, some of you guys were saying they're really delicious. I don't want to go overboard today. I just want to get some snacks, try some of their brands, and let you guys know what I think. I got some good-looking breads though. Remember these are the cookies I showed before? These look delicious. Two eighty-five. I don't think that's a bad deal. Produce looks very fresh. Everything in here is fresh. What is this? Stuffed baby bell caps. Oh my goodness, this looks good. Spinach, artichoke, stuffed mushrooms. $3.99. I don't know, it looks pretty fancy. It looks delicious though, don't it? Not gonna get them now, but yeah. Something to put on the list here. Me and Jess come back. One thing too, I love mushrooms and mushrooms have been going up all over the place. $1.39 for these big uh, big mushrooms here. Man, all kinds of fancy cheeses that you never really see. Uh, check out this mozzarella. $2.39. Man, I can't even tell you how much that would cost a Kroger. This would probably be like five bucks. What a deal. Got some fondue cheese you can melt. Hey, imported from Switzerland. That's cool. Man, you guys weren't kidding. There is a lot of awesome stuff here. Look at this. Goat cheese. Ah, I'm not real big on goat cheese, but blueberry vanilla. Interesting. I do love a good brie cheese. Uh, don't really see a price on this one. Oh, $2.99? What? Okay, I'm buying this. I asked the lady about the expiration date on this brie, so some of this stuff, if you want to check it, you got to open it up and it's on the side here so we got a good couple months for that this will probably be gone in a few days $1.69 <laughs> for a 10 pound bag of potatoes 
is the best deal I've seen on potatoes maybe ever. This produce looks amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Very fresh. You can smell it in the air. It's just awesome. I may have to get some crackers for that brie cheese. So I've worked my way back to the crackers here. I think these would go really good with the brie cheese. I'm going to try these pita. Uh, garlic and chive, I don't know. I want something more just regular. Uh, I'm going to try this thin wheat of their version, Savorits. Uh, reduced fat thin wheat crackers. I think that'll go good with the brie. Do you have salt, like an ice melt salt for your driveways? $4.99 for this big bag. Not many of them though. Looks like people are buying it up. Um, and they are pretty low on toilet paper. Not surprising. I mean, it's sort of a small store. Uh, you guys were talking about that So Soft brand saying that it's really good though. $5.29 for that big pack doesn't look like too bad of a deal. And they do have this other kind here. Uh, not many, but you know. And it seems like everywhere we go that paper plates and stuff like that, paper products are running thin. Pretty much, you know, you just gotta shop around for them. But these look like the good and sturdy ones and 228 for these heavy duty ones. For 50 of them, that don't seem like a bad deal at all. You guys were telling me about garbage bags too. You weren't kidding. Great deals on bar garbage bags. Boulder, I guess that's their brand. $5.39 for 80 of them. As you know, we just paid $8 at Meyer for the Glad or for Hefty 40 pack. So, yeah, that's not bad. And they got the Flex ones, so probably the same kind we just bought. 40 of them for $5.25. Man, I got to shop here more often. Yeah, look at this too. Dawn, okay, so Dawn's a little more. But their brand, probably the same thing. $1.69. Now here's something. You saw we got these at Dollar Tree the other day. Maybe not as sturdy, but six of them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. That's a great deal. Looks like they got plenty of cheese here. Um, I will say it's about the same price as all the other ones right now. We saw at Walmart it was $1.88. I think it was three for six at Kroger. So cheese is pretty uh, similar when it comes to price. Um, Happy Farms, that, that's one of their brands, says by Aldi. Uh, never tried it before. Uh, sharp White Cheddar. Huh. Oh no. I'm not going to get any right now because we're kind of loaded down on cheese. But we're definitely going to have to come back here. I need to come back with Jessica uh, so that we can get a better idea of the things she wants. I don't want to buy a bunch of stuff that Jess isn't going to like. Happy wife, happy life. However, I know that if she doesn't like this stuff, I will take care of that problem. Here's something interesting. If you guys have trouble finding any stuffing or anything, which I've pretty much seen stovetop everywhere, but this is 89 cents. Uh, 99 cents for the pork, I guess. Man, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. This is their brand of macaroni and cheese. $1.39 a box. I mean, normally Kraft is like $2.99 a box right now. Velveeta, I think $3.49. Looks like they do have some holiday candy out. Big bag of Reese's for $2.99. I feel like this stuff is going to be similar and comparable to most stores. Stuff that's not their brands anyway. I did buy plenty of Gatorade the other day, but I wanted to show they do have it. Also, let me know down in the comments if you've ever tried this Winter Spiced Cranberry Sprite. All the years this has been coming out for the holiday season, I've never tried it. $1.25, that's a good deal. You know, I think I have tried that Sprite before, but it's been a long time. $1.25, I love Sprite anyway. Uh, a lot of people like it, so we're going to give it a shot. One surprising issue that a lot of you guys have said is that you haven't been able to find butter. Okay, so they got a lot of butter here. A lot of butter, and you see the cream cheese. Happy Farms, that's another Aldi's brand. Uh, 79 cents, that's not bad. Uh, they do have this strawberry spread. I know you guys were talking about a lot of the spreads. Uh, $1.45 for that seems like a great deal. Philadelphia Kroger's $2.99 when they have it. Here's a good deal. We saw these roasts at Kroger for $13.99 where it comes with everything with it. Uh, $10.99 here. Get the whole kit. Whole pot roast kit. Just 
throw it in your crock pot and you're done. Another thing we were talking about, stew meat. Stew meat at every grocery store we've been at has been $7.99 a pound, $6.99 to $7.99 a pound, $5.89 here. That looks really good too. And there's just no getting away from the steaks. That looks like a pretty good steak right here. Nice ribeye. It is $15.99 a pound here though, as we saw most places right now. It's $14.99 a pound, but it is what it is. Same goes with hamburger, $4.99 a pound here. Uh, $11.06, but 85% lean. $11.06 for 2.5 pounds, 2.5 pounds, but it's the better quality. Uh, they have the 96 lean for $5.99. That's pretty much ground sirloin. Well, that's 85. Must be this. There we go. No, nope, that's 90-10. I don't know. They got all different kinds here. Um, and the meat quality looks really good. So, and they do have the 73, which, you know, that's got too much fat in it for us. But $2.99 a pound, uh, that's better than Kroger or anywhere I've seen right now. They don't have many turkeys at all. I don't think they really carry these much. Uh, they may at some other Aldi's, I don't really know, but they have these fresh young turkeys, the honeysuckle, $1.49 a pound. I know a lot of you guys were saying you like the honeysuckle turkeys. And look at this. Here's a pot roast kit for $8.49. What a deal. Probably not as big a meat, but yeah. Now these pork chops for $2.89 a pound. I feel like this is a little high for pork chops, but look at these. These look amazing. These look way better than we've seen lately. We found these in fresh pizzas that some of you guys said that you liked. Um, a lot of you guys said that they were terrible. So I don't know, like, I feel like it was half and half. Some of you guys said you liked them, some of you didn't. We're probably gonna try one here at some point. That's probably the one I'll try. I know that a lot of people don't like pumpkin rolls. I love them. For $4.29, for that big pumpkin roll, Seems like a great deal. Look at this too. Cans of biscuits, 99 cents. Man, I mean, I'm not sure what, I think the last we saw with Pillsbury was like three for six, which that's a good deal because normally they're $2.99. Uh, and some of these brands that I'm showing you guys, let me know if you've tried them before. Uh, let me know if they're worth buying so we can uh, put it on our list. This is probably the worst deal that I've seen in here, but on a normal basis this is what they are at all the stores and this is not obviously one of their products 567 for a 12 pack i gotta admit i haven't seen any shortages of flour or sugar anywhere i know some people were saying in the comments that they've had trouble finding flour they do have plenty of sugar uh it does look like flour's getting bought up but that's probably because thanksgiving's next week dollar 15 a bag too that's a great deal and uh lots lots of cooking items in here I'm uh, pretty sure that this vegetable, or wait, oh no, that's canola oil. Canola oil for $2.85. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. And they've got vegetable oil, of course, $2.95. Um, that's about the same as what you would pay for Crisco at Kroger, I think. But, you know, it's a uh, Aldi's product. Some people like Aldi's products better. Oh, and look at this. Hey, we do have a little bit of cat food here. Not much. One little section here. But hey, if you're in here, 37 cents. 37 cents a can. Wow, that's a good deal. They have all kinds of holiday baking needs. Holiday baking stuff that you may need. They got cornbread. Somebody was saying they were having trouble finding cornbread. Jiffy, that's, that's a good brand. As a matter of fact, I know we're out, so I'm going to go ahead and buy a box. Well, this feels like a heavier box, too, than normal. 47 cents, yes, I will take it. And they have a lot of these different uh, spices and cake spices, stuff you need for your desserts. I did find some more toilet paper here, a bigger pack, um, kind of out of nowhere here. And a bunch of hand sanitizer, 69 cents. Man, you guys, you know, thank you all who told me to come back to Aldi's and check stuff out try some of their foods we're gonna try it here and uh, yeah I'm gonna show you what I think pretty awesome store guys I ain't gonna lie so I got all my stuff one thing that I forgot is they don't have bags here you got to bring your own bags but 
I just bought a reusable bag. Got the pop here, got all the snacks. Let's head back, we're gonna try some of these. We're gonna do a little taste test to some of their uh, little snacks here I got. So the first thing I got is the Savorites Thin Wheat Reduced Fat. Now I'm gonna try this plain and then I'm gonna try one with the brie cheese on it, so. It's good, actually really good. Yeah, that's kind of surprising. I, I really like, I'm a big fan of the Wheat Thins. And uh, these are these are really nice. Good texture, good taste, not too much salt. I'm gonna try one with the brie cheese here. It's okay. It's not the best brie cheese that I've had, but it's okay. Not from all these, but I am trying the cranberry sprite. <sighs> yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. Now I'm going to try the Choker, Choker, however you pronounce that, the Dark Hazelnut Crisp Bar. Comes in uh, 11 individually wrapped bars here. Give this one a shot. You know, it's funny. It says that it's dark chocolate. I feel like it's a mix between milk chocolate and dark. Now I'm trying one of the peanut butter crackers, the Savorites brand, one of Aldi's brands. Too much cracker, barely any peanut butter. It was uh, 79 cents, I think, for this big pack of crackers. Uh, we'll eat them eventually or I'll give it to my nephew. Now we're trying the Savorites uh, pretzel stick, cracker stick and cheese. Got it open here. Let's see. Hmm. Get a get a good amount of cheese on here. <laughs> That's really good. Actually, I, I may like that one better than the ones they have at Kroger. Uh, that's really good. The cheese is awesome. Last but not least, as I was saying earlier. Got the S'mores Aldi brand, uh, what's it called here? Millville, Millville brand. A lot of you guys were saying Millville brand's pretty good. Um, but my favorite one out of these is the S'mores. Let's give it a shot. That's good. I may actually like this better than the Quaker ones. This is really good. Good amount of oats in it. Uh, it's got a nice marshmallow flavor with the chocolate. It tastes like a s'more. That's all the little snacks we got. Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed. The peanut butter crackers, I kind of thought, you know, I, w I was just kind of getting a couple cheap snacks here. I didn't want to spend too much money. Uh, we are planning to do a big grocery uh, shopping trip at Aldi. Everything looked awesome. Everything you guys said, I really appreciate you guys telling us to, to check out Aldi's. So yeah, I like the Choker, Choker, Dark chocolate hazelnut, uh, it's really good. Chocolate is delicious. Peanut butter crackers, yeah, probably never buy those again. Um, they do come in individually wrapped packs. Well, not individually, but like a four pack. So I'm glad that I just opened one of them. I don't, I don't know, I'm not really a big fan. There's not much, not much peanut butter in these at all. Uh, I do like the, uh, the cheese stick things. I think these are really good. The winner. For me in this are these Wheat Thins, or Thin Wheats. Uh, this is the Savorites brand from Aldi's. These are actually really delicious, um, really good. The Brie Cheese, I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'll probably, I'm definitely gonna eat some more of it. <laughs> don't want it to go to waste. But um, I've had better, I've had better. There's a Brie Cheese at Kroger that they have at the Kroger Marketplace that I really love. S'more. Uh, granola bar. That's really good. As far as trying some of all these products, I'm impressed. I mean, it's, you know, they got some good stuff. Good snacks. Really fun day today. It was good checking out more all these deals uh, in a time where prices are on the rise. We have to try and save a couple bucks any way we can. Thank you all so much for watching the video. And with all that being said, I am out. And always remember the adventure is out there.